In this tutorial I will share all the steps I use to create this cute keyboard in Blender. I'll be going through the modeling, materials and lighting setup necessary to create this piece. Let's get right into it. Press A to select all, press X and delete. Press Shift A to add a plane. Go into edit mode by pressing tab. Press S and X to scale it up in the X axis. Now press E to extrude it up. Press 2 to go in edge select mode, select the side edge, press G and Z to move it up a bit. Press 3 to go into face select mode and select the top face. Press I to inset. Now press E to extrude it down. Leave edit mode, go to your modifiers tab and add a bevel modifier. Change the amount to 0.04. Change the segments to 4. Right click the object and shade auto smooth. Press shift A to add another plane. Press G and Z to move it up a bit in the Z axis. Go into edit mode and scale it down. Press E and extrude it up. Scale down the top a bit as well. Now press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts. You can increase the amount of cuts with your scroll wheel. Add six cuts on both axes. Press 3 to go into face select mode and select the center face. We will now activate proportional editing by pressing O. Press G and you can see the radius of your proportional editing. You can increase or decrease the size of it with your scroll wheel. Decrease the size a bit, press Z and move down the center on the Z axis. Leave edit mode and add a bevel modifier. Change the amount to 0.02 and the segments to 4. Right click the object and shade auto smooth. Select the object, press 1 to go into front view and go into edit mode. Press A to select all, press O to deactivate proportional editing. Now press G and Z and move down the object a tiny bit so the origin point is just inside the object. Leave edit mode. We will now activate snapping. Open the snapping menu and select face project. Click on Align Rotation to Target and Project Individual Elements. Press Shift Tab or the snapping icon to activate snapping. Now press 7 to go into Top View and press G and place the key into the left top corner. Now we're going to add an Array modifier. Go to Add Modifier, select Array. On Factor X, change it to 0 and change Y to minus 1.05. We will have three rows of keys, so increase the count to three. It doesn't matter that it leaves the body, we will change that later. Now we'll add another array modifier. Change the count to seven and change the factor X to 1.05. Now we'll select the top key, go into edit mode, deactivate snapping and scale it down a bit. Scale it down just enough so that the keys fit. It's okay if the board is not wide enough, we can change that. Select the board, go into edit mode. Press Z and activate X-Ray. Go into vertex mode, select the side vertices, press G and X and move them to the side so the keys fit. Now press Z and leave X-Ray mode. We will now create the space bar in the backspace key. Select the keys, go to the modifier tab and apply the array modifiers. Press tab to go into edit mode and press 7 to go into top view. Press Z to go into x-ray mode. Press A twice to deselect everything. We'll start off with the spacebar key. Hover on a key and press L to select it. 
select these two, press X and delete. Now select half of the keys here, press G and X and move them to the side. Align them with the other keys. Now do the same for the backspace key. Once you're done, leave edit mode, toggle x-ray. We will now add a quick plane for the background. Press shift A, add a plane, scale it up. We will now give the piece some coloring. Press Z and go into material preview. Select the body of the keyboard, go to your materials tab, add a new material. We can leave the color as it is. Do the same for the keys, add a new material. Since we will be giving the spacebar, backspace and escape key different color, we need to go into edit mode, hover over them and press L to select the keys we want to change the color of. Once you have them selected, add a new material by pressing plus on the add material slot. Now click on assign. You can now leave edit mode and click new. This is where you can change the color of the keys. You can pick any color you want. If you want the hex key, it's E769CC. We will now change the color of the background. Select the background and add a new material. I will be giving it a light, very light pink color. The hex code is E7CFE3. Change the roughness to 0.8. I will now add the RGB lights to the keyboard. Select the body of the keyboard and press slash on your numpad to go into local view. Press tab to go into edit mode and activate face select by pressing 3 on your keyboard. Select the bottom face and add a new material slot and assign it. Click new to add a new material and change the surface to emission. Now give it the color of your choosing. My hex code is CC57C1. Change the strength to 30. You can now press slash on your numpad again to leave local view and press tab to leave edit mode. Now go to your render properties and change the render engine to cycles. Change the device to GPU compute and the samples to 128. Change the render samples to 256. Press Z and go into rendered view. We will now be adding a camera. Press Shift A to add a camera. I'm going to change the position by pressing N and go to item. If you're in the exact same position as me, it's minus four on the X. It's minus 4.8 on Y. And it's 4.6 on Z. For the rotation, I use 55, zero and minus 40. Now go to your output properties and change the sizing to 1920 by 1920. I will now be adding a light. Press Shift A and add an area light. Press G and Z to move it up on the Z axis and move it up around 6 meters. Go to the settings of your light and change the power to 400. Change the size to 3. and the shape to disk. Now go to your world tab and change the world color 
to FF93EB. Go to your render settings, go to color management, change the look to medium high contrast. Now all you have to do is render the image by pressing F12. And there you have it. I hope you stuck with it all the way through and were able to get the desired result. If anything was unclear or you have any other questions or requests, please let me know in the comments. If you decide to post your artwork to Instagram, tag me in it because I'd love to see your work. Links to my socials are in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.